Go AKA Packers. All right, the Phils just dropped four games against the Texas Rangers. So that's like the absolute worst type of start you can want in a season. Now, given baseball roughly has 3,000 games in its uh, season, so I mean, you can lose a couple, I guess. And uh, speaking of losing, Roman Reigns won. Uh, the American Nightmare is L O S T. He lost. He's out. Donut. Sorry, Cody. I thought I really thought it was uh, they the were going to transition. I thought it was time, but I mean, holy crap! How much credit do you give to Roman Reigns? I mean, as hated as he was at one time, I mean, he he really just looks unbeatable at this point. I don't know what they can do other than bringing back The Rock to to beat him. Which we uh, let's hope that never happens. Black Adam versus uh, Roman Reigns. That'll be pretty cool. All right, so March of Robots. We extend our months here a little bit in House AKA Pad, House PAD, because the reason why we extend our months is simple. We need extra time, and I wanted to do this for March of Robots leading into WrestleMania. WrestleMania now has passed, but the Raw, the WWE Raw following WrestleMania is usually one of the biggest ones of the entire year. We're probably going to get some storyline extensions, some big drops tonight. But speaking of which, let me drop this to you because this was, this, I love this idea. I, at the time, this is going back to 2020, my favorite wrestlers, young and old, some of them current, I transformed into robots, I transformed into droids. So let's have a look and I'll give you a little bit of a sketchbook tour because I, I just don't feel like I do enough drawing tutorials or drawing videos or drawing showcases on this channel because I'm so caught up in the uh, news cycle now, programmed like a robot for that. Pun intended. Let's hit that drawing table. Here it is, AKA Powders. March of Robots 2020, a life lived forever. So I, I, I'm going to have to double check. This might be my second March of Robots or maybe my third you know, we're doing one this year, just just to show you guys, this year's March of Robots, I'm doing the Transformer movies, and I'm kind of going scene by scene. So, it's not all robots, we're, you know, like Mojo the dog here, but we're doing Blackout, we got some, later in the sketchbook, I have more of the Transformers planned. Sketchbooks are big, so my goal for sketchbooks is always to do cover to cover, and treat it as if it was a real book, like a real printed book. So... We have a title page, March of Robots 2020. Credits page. I think you guys get the point. WWE. So for this though, I've been I do a lot of my own lettering to practice. Cause look, I grew up in Philly. I'm surrounded by graffiti. And I try and get as good as the guys around me in Philly. So just getting a little bit of like the shading and kind of like the, the way that the light's cutting with the blue going into the yellow. You know, like it's it's good practice. But table of contents featuring WWE or F superstars. So we normally do, yeah, like a full table of contents. And look, you guys know, you got to open up a Robo Taker. So, and with every single sketchbook, I do art directions. I kind of have like a set of rules that I don't break throughout the sketchbook. So this one, it was Pentel brush only. Now, I did use a Micron pen that I, I later back away from, but, and then it was Prismacolor markers, these guys right here. And that's it, and everything is made with, with that, that small, oh, and some Royale, because we always use Royale. With, the Prismacolor markers, we get bleeding. So I would just kind of get the the way out and scribble right there, okay? Because again, we're making the impression of that this is a completely printed book. Robo Hogan, I kind of would love to redraw this one. Robo Flair, uh, would love to redraw it also, but uh, I'm kind of happy with just like how the blues came out. Robo Ramon, Razor Ramon, uh, one of my all-time favorites. I grew up during the time of his, his transition from WWF or E to WCW and the NWO. Had to do it. Robo Sting, uh, I really wish I could redo this one. I don't know. I just, you know, like we got the crow here. Maybe like we should have done more like of the Raptors here. You just don't get his makeup. And I think that's a, a, a bonehead move there. 
Robo Macho, Macho Man, the one and only. So you can kind of see here too. I, I eventually sometimes to experiment and I get bored, I play with type. So, you know, like the first few had a little bit of a format with the logo or the title at the top left here. It's a bottom, bottom left. Alexa Bliss, Robo Bliss, guys. I was into her then. I'm still into her now. Uh, I don't know what happened to her. So sad. And this is something that... Uh, sad that she's not used and utilized. Or she's mm -hmm. kind of like out of the company. Ugh, it's so annoying. Alexa, stop. Robo Triple H. So, Triple H is deeply important to me. Because I it just something happened with my last breakup. And the idea of what Triple H did within the company, like, it crossed over to me. And there was no gym session. There was no time that I needed to hype myself up that I didn't play Triple H's, both of his uh, theme songs. And his, even now, like, what he's doing now is so impressive to me. Triple H has really, like, it, it, he's really ascended. To me, it's, uh, my favorites are... Ultimate Warrior, Ric Flair, like Triple H. Like, those are my top three. Well, not really, because I do like Goldberg. Robo Styles, again, gone out of the company. Uh, it's amazing that he, he did what he did. It's amazing that he was the face that ran the place. Robo, Goldberg. Uh, yeah, I'm a big Goldberg guy. It, look, I know some of his most recent matches weren't quite there. But I do love... Bill Goldberg. Robo Vince. This one could have been better. I like my design for this. I like that, it, the, you know, like the over the overcoiling and just it, it's there's a, like a little bit of madness to it. That's Vince. I think it fits. Robo George the Animal Steel had to do it. I grew up loving George the Animal Steel. Great tongue gimmick. Robo the Rock or Robo Rock. Come bring it, you know, like, and I kind of designed all of this around my idea for his, his headpiece. Everything else kind of fell into place at that point. Robo, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, wanted this one to be a little bit tougher looking, a little bit more clear. Not quite there. This should have looked like a heavy metal album cover. Robo, China. Guys, uh, you know, I know recently... Right, we've got some new China action figures. They seem to have backtracked what they were doing to China, which is good. But China is there. China is the greatest female champion of all time. Sorry, anyone that's a Charlotte Flair or Ronda Rousey or <laughs> or any anyone in the others. Everyone is a distant second to China. I would really put Charlotte Flair as number two. Robo Godfather, I'm sorry. Just one of my all-time favorites. Robo, Val Venus. Sorry, if, if I'm drawing the Godfather, the next one has to be Vile <laughs> Venus. Uh, Hello Ladies, still one of the greatest intros. Robo Diesel, did not quite nail this one. I wanted this to look a little bit more like the front of a, of a diesel or a Mack truck. You know, kind of with the with the pipes and, and the smoke or the, the fumes coming out. Robo... Demon King, uh, how fitting is this that we got the Demon last night at WrestleMania? Uh, perfect. I wish I could have sold the pose a little bit better here. Robo Fiend, guys, what the hell happened to the Fiend? Jeez, and, you know, like, and, and Bray Wyatt, not even, was Bray Wyatt even at WrestleMania? I just don't understand it. Robo Hollywood, just. Again, wanted this one to be a little bit more clear. I do like the spray paint uh, as his accessory here because, you know, people forget Hulk, Hollywood Hulk Hogan would spray paint uh, s s skunk marks <laughs> down your back. It was awesome. Robo John Cena. Uh, so I'm sorry, people. I'm a big John Cena guy, uh, even during his wrestling time. Robo Ultimate Warrior. You guys knew this one was coming. My all-time, all-time favorite. Robo Piper. One of my all-time favorites as well. Uh, I, I did Roddy Piper a couple years uh, ago for Halloween. Robo Ginger Mahal. People, 
Uh, I just feel like everyone slept on Ginger Mahal. He, I think, retweeted this. This ended up on his uh, Instagram in some fashion. And I kind of forget how exactly. I was all in on him being champion. I love him being champion. I just like, I loved his character so much. I thought he was crazy and wild and completely tough looking. I don't know. Robo Becky Lynch uh, went a little bit too hard for like the steampunk angle for this. Um, this might be the, the one I dislike the most of, of, of all of them. Robo Seth Rollins. Uh, at the time, I had no idea that the two were dating. Uh, coincidence there. Uh, during this time, I was a big Seth Rollins guy. Uh, was a demon, demon Slayer, King Slayer. Uh, he seemed to have everything. And uh, he got injured and never really came back. Robo Brock Lesnar. I like this, and I don't like it. I the the parts of me that don't like it is it's. I I kind of want to see more of this, like more, more of what the design should have been. Robo Brett, the Hitman Heart or Robo Hitman. Uh, yeah, I kind of wanted the gun to, to look a little bit better. If I'm doing. The, if I'm doing Brett, I'm doing Sean, Robo, the Heartbreak Kid, Robo Kid. Uh, I, I think everything for this one just came together nice. Robo Kane uh, really botched this one. I hate this one so much. Uh, it, you, it, it's, it's well rendered. Like, it looks normal. Not as bad as the Becky Lynch one. But, uh, again, like, you can't tell it's a robot, so it's a failure on that. Uh, appendency. So a lot of my appendices, I break down what the art direction was, and then I had a couple of requests at the time coming in through um, Instagram mostly. I don't think I got any of them through Twitter, and there were like someone requested Rob. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm getting a brain fart. Someone requested a Robo Vain Dame. Uh, so, like, may maybe I'll finish this up. I only have a couple pages left. I really should do the inside cover. Uh, I, one of them was a Robo Donald Trump, too. Or Vince fighting a Robo Donald Trump. Maybe not, but, uh, the other good one that I had was a Robo Mike Tyson. Uh, I really should do that. And then, like, wrap it up. So, may maybe we'll finish this soon. To me, it's, it's completed, but, yeah, I'd like my sketchbooks to be cover to cover. Alright, so AK Packs, I hoped, I really hope you enjoyed it. A life lived forever. I hope you enjoyed that. More to come. We're going to do more sketchbook stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, like streamline when I talk about these. They are available for free as a download on akapad.com. So just, this is why it's important to follow me on social media. You will get announcements there. You will also get announcements in the community posts here on YouTube. My idea, my dream, my vision for doing work like this is to make it accessible to you just so you can see this larger point that I make about the best way to get better at illustration is to give, your, give yourself sketchbook challenges. There's no other method, there's no other way. Go through my entire work history, go through my entire post history and judge for yourself. Tell me I'm not real when I say that and I kind of want to pass that on to you so I want to make all the materials there. I want to make all the ma <laughs> materials accessible. I just want to prove my point. AKA Patterns, keep drawing, keep creating, never ever give up. Rock and roll and I'm with you. Let's do this.